tased me because I'm literally prescribed them by my doctor. Put that gun away. Put it down. Get out the car. And, but you're not taking Give me the keys. keys. You're not taking my keys. Give me the keys or I'm going to pull you out of the car. I'm not going nowhere. Give me the keys or I'm going to pull you out of the car. Out of the car. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic. When entitled girls realize they're going to jail, these stories will make you reflect on the responsibility and consequences of one's actions. And here are the faces that represent our topic for today. Ma'am, will you wait and talk to me just a moment? I am Ryan told me. It's terrifying to discover that there's a lunatic living nearby when you've just moved to a new place. This is the experience that these two individuals had when they encountered the main character in our first video. This woman's name is Sarah, and she lives at Virginia G. Breeze. I'm not going to argue, do you understand? I'm here in charge of this now. Please, because I'm literally prescribed them by my doctor. I'm literally so silent. There's three pills in there. This lady remained aggressive until she realized the consequences she had to face. Let's rewind to before everything started to find out what happened. On November 26, police officers arrived at a residential area after receiving a call from a resident regarding a woman yelling outside their house early in the morning. The officers approached the caller to gather more information before initiating the investigation. Hello, how are y'all? Good could be better than woke up, heard yelling in the driveway, came out here. In saw, your driveway? Yeah, in the driveway. She pulled into the driveway with a red Mazda, proceeded to back up to recreate an incident that happened over a month ago, about a month and a half ago. This is time. my friend's car. Okay. This other lady is talking he about. Doesn't, he doesn't care for it. We've texted, yeah, I've called my insurance, and we've discussed so, it. Is yeah, she's not insured. I am insured though. Is this person involved insured. in this then? What happened today? This. This lady was driving the red car? Yeah, this lady was driving the red Mazda, which happened, I which that, that occurred. When police were conversing, the woman they were discussing walked away. As she approached the officers with a confrontational attitude, the story took a new turn. Were you... He's uninsured, and so is she. Okay. No, I'm not. I am insane. Ryan told me. So you need to calm down and listen yeah, to what I'm no, telling you. I am. Was this lady was in the vehicle that yeah, just... She has a ring doorbell. You could see her pulling in our driveway. Really? She, no. She did she, not hit a vehicle. This, this Hyundai okay. is uninsured and okay. she literally wait, told... Wait, 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 ma'am. Do not put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. Gotcha. For what? Scam you. Give me traffic. Put your hands behind your back and stay there. <laughs> and naturally, with her confrontational attitude and physically pushing the police officer, her arrest was inevitable. What's surprising is how quickly her demeanor changed in just a few seconds, which is quite alarming. Perhaps this woman was attempting to manipulate the situation by feigning vulnerability, but she must have been disappointed. Professional officers know how to handle individuals like her. <laughs> When you push a law enforcement officer, what that's what here. happens. Okay. <laughs> what do you need to do here? Step up. Walk over to my car. Literally, don't need the white. Put your hands on me like. You are being arrested for battery on a law enforcement officer, ma'am. Oh, no, no, no. Can you unhook from the other side? Yeah. No. Just what do you mean? Listen, I want you to calm down. Where are with you at? With my right grandma. Now? With my boyfriend. Do you have any pockets on your pants? No, sir. The next thing they need to focus on is continuing to investigate the story before the woman begins harassing them. Who owns this red car? He's in the house. She just calls that damage this morning? The dent on the right, yeah. Door handle was already there. That was a month ago and that was already a result. We're going through insurance. She started throwing a temper tantrum today and pulled up in your driveway yelling at y'all. I woke up this morning because I heard yelling uh -huh. and she was pulled in our driveway. So I came out here to see what was going on, and then she heard me on the phone with the police and took the car and left the neighborhood. The homeowner, a calm, collected, easygoing individual, speaks gently, doesn't engage in nonsense, and is reliable, always speaking the truth. Maintaining a calm attitude and showing respect towards law enforcement is key to avoiding unnecessary trouble. And it's clear that our demeanor is crucial in any investigation. She caused the second dent on the right on the vehicle. Is it the guy that came out the door momentarily? Yeah, yeah, that, that belongs to him. Yeah. And she just did this dent here this morning. 
And that's what y'all were calling about? Cause yeah, I was calling What was she saying when she was going crazy in the oh, driveway? Um, she was talking about it happened like a month ago and that he's freaking out about it. And well, she came up to me and she was yelling at them and I was telling her, listen, you're going to go across the street and I'll come talk to you in a moment. And then that's when she knocked my arm out of the way and hit me with her, her hand. So I'm going to charge her with battery LEL. So she took off and turned around the corner. I don't know if she left. I know there's only three streets in this neighborhood. All right, give me another moment. I'll be right with y'all, okay? All right. Sorry, guys. No, um, I have to ask first, did either one of y'all see her hit my arm out of the way? Was she, like, threatening to hit your car because y'all accidentally hit hers, her boyfriend's? And then I saw her tap the trash can back up and then hit the other car. And then... So her car was pulled in here? Yeah. Like I'm going to get you taken care of in case you got to go do something. And all you have to do is tell her that she is not allowed on your property and then you can walk away. Listen to what he has to say. Ma'am, you're not allowed on our property anymore. All right, thank you so very much. The experienced police officers, having encountered a wide variety of people over the years, have become immune to the antics of this woman. As one officer rightly put it, she'll have her day in court to tell her story. The back seat of a police car is not an ideal place for her to cry and recount the story she thinks warrants sympathy. What can I do for you? Hey, I'm sorry, like, can I just fell? Can you what? You know what's like the next step? Oh, I'm going to take you to this Gamby County Jail and charge you for battery on a law enforcement officer. And by you striking me and swatting my arm, I that I got it on, but it's all on video camera, ma'am. I know that doesn't count, but I feel like my story deserves to be heard. I'll have your day in court to tell your story. Yeah, but he was very rough with me too, and I'm so. Did you not listen to him? What was he telling you to do? If you can look at if there's any video, you can see how many times he slapped me against that chair. Yeah, I guess. Fell over. I just want to make sure he's okay. He is. I tell you. Gotcha. Well, we're, we're probably going to close it. We just can't leave the door open, so we're just going to close it up, okay? Oh, my God. i got to ask her information. Okay. How much do you weigh? So, like, maybe 130 pounds. Brown. What color eyes? Blue. What do you put I go in? You don't have to. I can't. I just want to see him. Where do you work at? Founders Chowder House and Virginia Tech, too. My title, if you were going to ask about Virginia Tech, is Graduate Research Assistant. I need to ask you some questions, Please. but before I do, I have to Mirandize you, okay? Please don't. All right. Don't Mirandize? I have to Mirandize you. It's the law. Before I ask you a question in reference to those pills that were in your purse, I have to Mirandize you. Please, because I'm literally prescribed them by my doctor. I know, but I'm fixing that. We're going to talk about I'm sorry. that. sorry. Have you previously requested any law enforcement officer to talk to an attorney? Okay. I'm really so sorry. There's three pills in there. Okay? There's the ones in the Ziploc bag. What about the one pill that was in the zipper compartment by itself? It's like a brown gold. Yep. Yes, I'm prescribed that too. Do you have a prescription for that? Yes, well? sir. The problem is is that you don't have the prescription with you, but you have. You have oh, and I have to determine if I have to charge you criminally for it. I literally prescribed two a day. Okay. And I believe you. Okay? We'll be going in just like, a moment. Okay? I want to be a part of what's going on. Well, you are. I've told you everything that's happening and what's going to happen. Please don't arrest me. I don't know what. The woman performed a dramatic change of expression while being transported to jail. She's never been told no before, and she likely used her ability to change her facial expressions to avoid getting caught until she encountered these professional police officers. After realizing her fake tears had no effect, she became angry and played the victim role, accusing the officers of misconduct. You literally mean to me. Did y'all even check the insurance on that note? You get all upset about something that doesn't have anything to do with you or relevance because all this was unnecessary. I am agreeing with you. I'm like, is there a lot of money in there? Did anybody see how you pushed me against the trash can twice? Absolutely. That's why I'm like, like, I was like, like so shocked right now. What am I doing? You, you were so much. You were so much towards me. On your, on your profile picture? For real? Do you know that the people that called the police literally hit his car a month ago and he let them go? Do you know that that's what insurance is for? He's not insured and neither are they. I have insurance. I understand that, but I'm like, people that are not even involved in this situation. You don't even want to hear from me. You really don't think 
Everybody's dying. Everybody's dying. Everybody's dying. Are you gonna acknowledge that? Um, that you have been here with a trash can? I don't see anything wrong with that. It's a trash can. They're not very solid. Polypropylene is very Everybody solid. I'm, I'm literally asking you. What do you know about polypropylene? Oh, obviously nothing. You obviously thought it wasn't very solid. And no. scientists have done research for literally decades. But you were so quick to bust me over it. Probably like you do your... That was sick, man. That men just get to do that type of shit. And women, they just have to take it. Bring me over on a trash can twice. You want to just start doing that? It's okay, they're allowed to be on the road too. Like, they're literally allowed to be here too. They are literally so allowed to be here too. They're allowed to merge. Can I press charges on you? Sir. Literally not even being responsive? Right. Should, should somebody Mirandize you? May he be held against you in the court of law, like the video. Camera on your... Please say you Looks like you can't hear me. Acts like you didn't bust me over, over the trash can, like sexualizing. And that's what it was. What's your name, sir? You shouldn't be able to withhold that type of information from somebody. I'm not. You literally are. I'm literally I'm not. You had to ask me my name. You literally gave me over a trash can. Ass down. Do you have a daughter? Would you do that to her? To do ass down over the trash can twice? That was very uncomfortable. <laughs> that was a really nice, just like, punch on the gas pedal. I'm, like, I'm, I'm honestly curious. Do you want to hurt me? Do you have ill will? Do you have ill will? has so much ill will towards the society that you literally live in. Some political? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. You ain't gotta tell me twice. Why were you at CVS Pharmacy earlier? The woman has been detained at the county jail on charges of battery on officer or firefighter, resisting arrest without violence. What's frightening about this woman is that she's capable of such behavior while sober, indicating she's had a lifetime of doing things her way. During childhood, when personalities and thought processes are developing, parental upbringing plays a crucial role. It seems her parents may have used the wrong approach in raising her, resulting in her becoming ill-tempered. For those with children, pay attention to them more, using a balance of love and discipline in the right measure can help shape them into positive members of the next generation. Put that gun away! Put it down! Get out the car! In this case, we'll be looking at a woman who is even more dangerous and aggressive than the character we just discussed. This woman is Kwavi Young, 26 years old. The individual is alleged to have openly carried a weapon. Now let's rewind to when this daring woman's story began to see the consequences she had to face. What is the problem? On March 16th, following a report from a McDonald's employee about an aggressive woman, police swiftly equipped themselves and headed to the scene to investigate the incident further. According to the employee's report, the woman had allegedly pointed a gun at them and demanded they fulfill an order for a grilled cheese sandwich, not on the menu, threatening to squeeze the trigger if they refused. What's the person with the gun? What's the person with the gun? ¿A dónde está la persona con la pistola? How are you? I'm good, how are you? They gave us a call of a female with a handgun in their lap. A handgun? Yeah. Oh, I, I, Sorry to bother you. Oh, no problem. I see you walking up. I was like, that's the police. Put that gun away. Put it down. Get out the car. What you mean? I'm licensed to carry a gun. They talking about. You have it concealed? Yes, sir. Okay. I do. All right, this is just for safety, okay? Okay. Right okay. Anyway. No ammo? No. Okay. Where did you have it? I just, had it on the back here. Oh. 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 Oh.
her. She can clear, she can say what she wanna say. That's weird. I'm still here waiting on my damn order. What is her being stopped for? What is the problem? I just told you. No, you did not, sir. No, you didn't. She saw you done. I did not threaten her with nothing. I've been sitting in the car with why would I threaten someone I'm still sitting in my car waiting on my damn order? Not making what, me sense. That's what we're here to figure out. She's weird. What? I did not say that! She's a damn liar! Clearly. This woman wasn't as kind as she portrayed herself to be. She didn't even have a shred of decency towards the officers. She shouted, interrupted their words, and disregarded their attempts to address her concerns. She's not gonna sit here and fucking lie on me like that. No, she's not gonna do that. And I'm gonna call my mom right now because I'm gonna get my own phone. Thank you, so. She's a, he's a liar. She's a fucking liar. Are you serious? I'm done told with them. This is crazy. Are she serious? I did not do anything to her. I just, I've been waiting on my order. So that doesn't make no sense, sir. Fine, bro. I'm gonna call right now. I'm gonna call right now. That's crazy. I don't have time for this. I really don't. This lady is crazy. I didn't do anything at all. You're mad at us. We're just responding to a call. Yes, but I didn't do anything. That's why I'm still waiting here. And like the bad guy, I just don't like that she just sat here lying. You said you had a concealed permit. You said a license. Yes. You've avoided it. I don't like the way she's sitting here lying because I didn't do anything. I'm just but sitting in my car waiting on my food. I also told you we're going to watch the video. At the end of the day, he's over here acting like I did something wrong. You guys come like I, I didn't do anything at all. But in any way, I did nothing. Yes, sir, I do. Yes, I'm not saying, saying you did it. I'm saying you're being accused of it. We watch the video, you didn't do it, cuffs come yes. off, everybody goes away home. Her rude actions continued unabated. The expressions on her face were also noteworthy. And do you have a valid driver's license? Are you allowed to drive? Yes. Do you have that with you? I can't believe this lady really just suffering. This is like, what the heck are you doing? Just stay uh -huh. standing right here. Yeah, but I'm not going to go anywhere. I don't, I didn't do anything. Why would I run anywhere? I'm, I'm still here waiting on my food. I don't know what the heck she decided to say. That's, I don't, that's crazy. Shows you not doing it? It's this number right here. Go ahead and call it. When you handed it to me, it clicked. Oh. Yeah. It don't make no sense. 82 teletype. Can you copy a PX? Mm. 32. That's the person in the drive thru's mind. Stand by for a second, I'll tell you what. No, so. I want you over there. You stay here, man. And what do you want him to tell her? Call my phone because I'm having a problem at McDonald's that Call could possibly send me to jail. The woman adamantly denied all the allegations made by the reported employees earlier, stating that she did not brandish a gun or make any threatening remarks. However, it was false, as her demeanor proved otherwise. I'm not going I'm not going to jail because I didn't do anything. Yeah, watch the video then. Yeah, I didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing okay. at all. Listen to me, please. If you watch the video, it didn't That's happen. Here. Those handcuffs come off, you go home. If you're gonna be released, do you still wanna call your mom? Yes, I okay. got to call her. I need to call her. Okay. That's weird. I just wanna make sure that you don't call her and then get released. And then she, that doesn't make me think she's lying. I didn't do nothing. I don't hurt. Why would I do that, sir? I go to school for criminal justice. I would never do that. You get can't trust me. Accused of course, but I didn't do time. that. Nothing shows. Like, People what? get what falsely heck? accused. That's weird. I didn't do anything. The woman was escorted onto the vehicle for transportation to the jail, where she underwent a body search and some procedures conducted by a female officer before officially being detained. Even at this point, she didn't forget to blame the person who reported her, continuously complaining about everything. For what? For what? What, what did I do? Can you tell me why I'm running? Assault. Assault of what? what? Assault for what? What the heck? I didn't do no assault. Oh my God, these people are crazy. This is not make any sense. Right? Yep. Right. Can you call my mom, please? Yeah. I need a phone, please. I call my mom because my kids are at home. But I don't know what the heck she's that. talking about. It doesn't make any sense. Like, Pick up the car. Can I get a, yeah, just call the number. I didn't. What's your first name? Father Young. Father Young. I need to get to your hands. No, I'm good. Thank you.
Uh, whenever they get a the chance to transport you. Uh, can you take your jewelry off and just dump it in here? I'll, uh, have it in my truck. Yeah. Okay. So what you said, let's go. Uh, yeah. Assault. Like, how is that assault? I didn't. I didn't tell her I was gonna hurt her. Oh, that's what her husband would say. That's the call that we got. Like, I didn't do nothing to her. Okay. Uh, I didn't even say. I didn't even do nothing. All I said was, all she did get my order right. I don't care what the fuck what they supposed to do. Can't charge me the gun. The fuck is registered as licensed. I'm licensed for this shit. So I, don't, I ain't say that I was gonna shoot her or even. Pointed towards her. Oh, that in and of itself is a second you were missing me. I didn't assault her ass. Huh? It still was concealed. But it was still concealed in my car. It's readily accessible. That's not concealed. How is that readily accessible for me to... It doesn't have any bullets in it. It doesn't? No! Okay. How would the McDonald's cashier know if the gun was unloaded? If she was yelling at them and they saw a gun beside her, that would be enough to make them feel their lives were in danger. Clearly, she used the gun as a tactic of intimidation. I can carry my phone wherever I want to. That's a freedom of wherever right? I want to. Yeah, but it has nothing in it. Bullets aren't regulated at that point. Not but much. It, it didn't have nothing in it. it, it so, yeah, but it didn't have nothing in the, in the gun anyway. This happened. And I didn't think and do nothing to her because we were just sitting in my car. I didn't even point at her. You know, you can't do nothing about it. And I can't even. I didn't do nothing to her. If you're lying, I didn't do nothing. Cause if I did that, I would not be still sitting at McDonald's waiting on my food. I'm still sitting here waiting on my food. I'm like, okay, boom. And then you guys, I'm like, what? What the heck? I didn't even do nothing. The woman has been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill and openly carrying a weapon. In the 1980s, we thought being killed over a pair of $80 tennis shoes was the worst thing for humanity. Now it's a grilled cheese sandwich. This reflects the current volatile human psyche. So to obtain a gun license, gun owners should attend a mood control class. This will help reduce the rate of innocent people being attacked. Do you agree? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below to let us know you care about this issue. Hey, turn the car off. No, turn the car off. I don't trust that you're not going to leave. Give me the keys. Okay. This final case will show us the consequences of attempting to flee the scene of a car accident. She is one of the three individuals involved in a car accident. Now let's explore this incident together. On April 8th, a police team was dispatched to the accident scene to respond to a collision involving three vehicles, but a female driver refused to cooperate and appeared to be under the influence of alcohol. What I'm, what I'm asking is, were you going this way on Manatee Avenue, or were you coming this way on 39th? Avenue so you came this way. To bust the U-turn. Okay. I dropped my son uh, off I'll, at Rowlett I'll talk. Elementary. I'll talk to you in a second. Well, I just, ma'am, what I'm asking you is, were you driving on Manatee Avenue this way when the crash happened, or were you coming down 39th? These GPS for That's everything. Not what I I'm asking. I dropped my son off for um, from around, and I come oh, down. I don't know direction. Crash. I know GPS on my phone. Okay. Coming this way. Okay. And all of a sudden, this silver pickup completely like must have crashed into him, and he crashed into me. So was he in the other lane? He was in the left lane, kind of like right next. He was going right here. Okay. And all of a sudden, I can only I didn't, I didn't see what the hell she did. Slam into my truck. Okay. All right. I need your registration, your insurance. I've got all my stuff. I've I'm legit the entire way. What do you need from me? Your registration. I don't know. They're not here, and they don't have nothing. Okay. That's the green one. So they can speak Spanish and do it. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I have my insurance and registration. Can I please leave? No, you're not free to leave. He says no, I can't leave. I can't hear what he's saying. There's too much traffic. But no, you're he not. He says there's too much traffic. I he can't hear. But no, you're not free to leave. He wants the registration and insurance. Okay, I'll give it to him. My number? Yeah, I need it for the. I need the, your phone number because you're involved in a crash. Of what? You're not allowed to leave. 
You cannot leave. Get this x-ray. Because okay. God forbid something happens. I got you. Yeah, I think you have up to 72 hours, but the track talks about so oh. I'm 99% sure she's correct. What's the law? Why can't you test her? You have to finish the crash investigation before we switch into the DUI investigation. Oh. Because if we don't, then it will ruin another thing. Okay. While an officer was speaking with another involved party, the woman attempted to flee by starting her car. The officer managed to intervene in time, but she still maintained a defiant and combative attitude towards law enforcement. Things would have been resolved much more peacefully if she had surrendered the car keys and cooperated with the police investigation process. It would have been beneficial for everyone involved, herself, the other parties, and it would have made the job of law enforcement much easier. Turn the car off. No, turn the car off. Yes, give me the keys. I don't trust that you're not going to leave. Give me the keys. Okay. She's trying to leave. Not going nowhere, and, but you're not taking my Give me the keys. keys. You're not taking my keys. Give me the keys or I'm going to pull you I'm out of the car. I'm not going nowhere. Give me the you're keys or I'm going to pull you out of the car. Keys. Out of the car. Get me. Out of the car. Get me. We got problems. Get out of the car. Stop. 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 Very quickly, you'll see a different side of her when she realizes she's been apprehended. All right, up. Stop kicking me! Stop! Pick me up! Now, keep her down, keep her down. Mm. Bring her down. Nothing! He's so like a lion. The nasty the and they're being right. headful hey, and they're the spitting on me! Get right. the f off me, you okay. nasty f***ing thing! You're hateful, you're Ask Shelby, I'll get mixed reports. I'm thinking she was coming out of this way. Yeah, she did. Probably ran the light. Hey, I'm gonna take you out of the car and I'm gonna search you, okay? As long as you know, there's not gonna be any messing around out here, okay? All right. I'll help you out. Just turn around for me, okay? Do you have anything on you that's gonna cut me or poke me? All right. Okay. I have a medical card. It might be in my purse. I have medical marijuana. There's nothing else. You can do whatever you need. Yeah, we're going okay, back in the car. I'm just going to sit you back in the car. Yes, okay? ma'am. Wherever I need to go. Sorry. I need to blow my nose. I need to go. A little bit. I don't I want to shut the door on you. I need to skip, but I need to blow my nose. Okay. Well, no, please blow my nose. No, we're not going to blow your nose. I got napkins in the front. Okay. She is indeed a reckless disrespectful, and irresponsible woman. She consistently asserts her innocence after causing a collision involving three cars while intoxicated. After being apprehended, she cries and pleads softly for the police's help, but it's just a ploy. You'll see her true colors when the officers refuse her requests. You gonna help me, sir? Can I move my hands from the front? Do you have any... I do have important information in the front. I mean, do you have any, is there anything involving your shoulder area or your back area? Uh, access my materials. I, I, I'd have to. Because I would love to access my material. I, I, I'd have to ask my, my supervisor. But, yes, sir. Uh, your supervisor would know that. So you can't get in there? Uh, it's a brand new car. I've had the car a week and I'm locked out of it. What? The, are you Miss Megan? My boss said, uh, no, you ain't Miss Megan. How may I assist you? Because it's a brand new car, it got bought for me to wait tables. It's my first job on my own without him being 
a source of my income. So how many... Can't get in. That's that's all we needed to know. I can get in several different ways. What do you need me to get in? I'm asking you about your glove box. That's it. I can't help you. You can't help me, bitch. You can help me. Maybe I can... If you could help me, maybe the... I could open it for you. I didn't do nothing wrong and I'm involved in nothing of what's being questioned. I have no idea. I have a kid and a job. What the f you must be today? I got you any day, any time. I didn't do nothing wrong. No one begs for help in such a tone, ma'am. And here's something you should know. Don't flash cash when talking to the police if you expect respect. What you should do now is stay silent and wait for the officers to transport you to jail. I've been trying to ask for help. I've been asking for help. Can you help me? No, I didn't. I need help out. I've got money. I've got payment. I just need help out. And he's telling me I can't get out. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Did I do wrong? This is the entire story as told by a man, supposedly the woman's relative, to the officer. It's completely different from the woman's claim of, I didn't do anything. That person, they, she is impaired, she's struck. Uh, let's, let's turn around on this moment. I want to fight everybody. Um, I'm guessing that's probably due to her impairment. Hours, uh, hours. So she could get out today if she got her shit straight. Yeah. Probably yeah. Sunday or Monday at the latest. Okay, fine, but she wants to get two of my officers and she's impaired, so. Well, she's gonna actually have two battery charges. It's uh, two misdemeanor crimes. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. The woman has been charged with multiple serious offenses, including violent resistance, she pleaded no contest and received a 12-month probation sentence, along with a series of special conditions. This woman should have been imprisoned for these charges. The judge should review her arrest video and impose a more appropriate penalty. If the court only imposes such a punishment, the likelihood of her reoffending in the future is high and in the future, she may not only cause property damage but also pose a danger to innocent pedestrians. We should have a class on individual responsibility and when they receive a certificate of completion with outstanding achievements, they are eligible for a driver's license. Do you think this is a thought-provoking opinion? Through the scenarios discussed today, we can recognize the importance of accepting responsibility and consequences for our actions in life. We cannot always expect forgiveness or leniency from others when we violate laws. Rights and privileges should never be excuses to comfortably cross the boundaries of morality and law. This not only has negative consequences for ourselves, but also impacts the community around us. Remember, respecting the law and those who enforce it is the foundation for resolving conflicts and creating a more peaceful society. Hopefully, through this story, we can draw lessons about personal responsibility and legal awareness, thereby reducing the number of offenders or negative elements in society. Thank you for watching from start to finish. Goodbye and see you again. Wishing you all a day full of positive energy.